chance to meet her in real life. And I actually haven't had the chance to meet this friend in two years now. Uh, last time I met him was the freshman, the summer after my freshman year. During my month long stay in Fremont, we actually did a road trip to Santa Barbara. And um, that was the first time I ever drank. So it was a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to getting to see him again and meet his girlfriend as well. And then uh, half an hour after their flights land, my girlfriend also arrives. So that makes five of us. And then the plan on Thursday after they arrive is to go to BJ's Brew House. BJ's Brew House is a popular chain. It's like a American eatery mixed with a bar. Um, it's kind of like a cheesecake factory, but, you know, portion sizes are a bit smaller. It's not quite a large of a place, not as big of a chain. Uh, they are known for their bazookis. They have this, like, wonderfully delicious cookie ice cream combination dessert. It's like a, a giant big cookie with ice cream served on top. They're fantastic. Um, but the reason why we're going to BJ's Brew House, even though it is available in California, is because my friend, he wants to try this drink that they have. I'll post a photo of the drink. It's like a rubber, rubber ducky cocktail. Um, and it looks playful and silly for it. It comes in a tub with a rubber duck in it. And I think you have to pay like 10 bucks extra to get the actual tub that you drink it out of. But I think I won't. I didn't get the chance to get him a birthday gift this year because I didn't see him. So we can, we can definitely make him that souvenir purchase. And then after that we're going to watch Deadpool and Wolverine, which is coming out this Friday, but Thursday. We have early access.
was before, but it is like a big tourist attraction, so I'm gonna show that to my friends once they arrive, and my girlfriend, actually my girlfriend's already visited once, and she has seen it, so nothing new for her. And then, after that, we are going to, we're gonna go to a dispensary. Ever heard of the D 
this as well. They got like a big obstacle in court. And then you race through and you try and qualify based on your time. And then, yeah, that's the premise of the show basically. And this is the American Ninja Warrior like training park. So they have a bunch of like model replica obstacles from the show that you can go and test out uh, on your own and give it a shot. And then they also have like a 10,000 square foot inflatable area, um, like an inflatable obstacle course. I think that one's more kid friendly, but some of my friends are less athletic and I think that they will greatly appreciate that as well. So we're going to do that on Friday. Then we're also like old school type 
to if you enjoy content.